Good morning! Oh yeah, power sacks for Monday. We've got ourselves a heavy braking Ford Explorer. Just pulled into school here in a second. It's a lovely 18 degrees this morning on Monday. I'm actually awake, which is awesome. It's it's really cool to be awake on, on Monday and pull in here and not want to die yet, so that is good news. Alright guys, it's 10 to 3. I just got home from school a little bit ago. It's uh, about 39 degrees or so, so that's good news for melting the snow. You can see my tire tracks, but a lot of it's melted off the driveway. We've got plenty to go, uh, but it looks like we're going to be in the mid to high 40s all week, so hopefully we'll get rid of this in a few days. But you can tell the sun's been out all day. It's supposed to cloud over now, and it's kind of doing that now. But you can hear it's all melting off the roof, so that's great. It feels like spring. Everything's slushy. I did wrench the car off with the hose to get try to get the salt off, so I guess it's better. My wheels are still filthy. Needs another wash, but I'm not going to wash it until I see at least a couple days of better weather. But uh, just need to get the salt off, because that's what just eats away at everything. It's disgusting. Okay guys, it's um, 7.24. God damn it, every time I get in a car, I got a call. Let me see who it is. Oh, jeez. It's like every day I come out of school and, you know, it doesn't change. It's the same time. 2.05, I get off ninth period. And I get in the car and once I start the engine and get a seatbelt on and start driving, ding, 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 text message, phone call, Facebook notification, tweet. Seems like everything happens right then. And I hate to use a phone while driving, even with Siri. It's an unnecessary distraction that can have potentially lethal... Um, effects. Anyways, it's Taylor doing what he usually does. He calls me and tells me he's leaving. And that's great. I like the updates. Send me a text, bro. So if you watch this, send me a text. Don't call. Right. So now it's 726. I'm on my way to Panera. I'm going to meet Taylor. Mom and sister are sick. Just a cold. Uh, so we probably shouldn't be doing work in my house. Anyways, we have, uh, we're both taking the science fiction class at high school. And we have uh, some research to do on dehumanization, how it affects different genres. So we're going to go do that now uh, at Panera. I don't think it'll take more than an hour, so we'll just get that done. And then we're uh, both in Graphics 3, and we're working on this poster for the track teacher going over the track events for the 2012 spring session, I guess. So we're working on graphics for that, and it's a pain in the ass because the whole... Uh, schedule is in there. It, they gave us a PDF. They're like, all right, well, recopy this. So I figured out you open it in Adobe, then you can copy and paste it. But then there's different layers and the scaling. It's, it's just a miserable project. So we're going to go work on those things. And you can hear my wipers are frozen to the glass and they're clicking and that's annoying. Friggin' hell, it's 23 degrees now. It was warmer before. But anyways, I will talk to you and Taylor in a few minutes at Panera. Ah, Mercedes R Class. Don't see many of those around here. Name the artist if you've got class anymore and you know. It seems to be a rarity in this um, time frame that we're living in. Anyways, let me know. Get some cool points for you. Ah, there's Mr. Jasko in the focus. And I parked myself next to this. Maybe some of you will know what it is in this lighting. Alright, we'll, we'll turn it down. Great song though. So uh, we're going to go in now and make shit happen. Uh, he had to repart because he opened his door and it went right into the snowbank. Take two. Wow, oh, Taylor, we got some pretty graphic graphics here in your, uh, what is this? This is the dehumanization thing that we did. Here. Mine's done. I've worked some more on the Photoshop graphics and got a good foothold in that. Taylor's just finishing this up. You had a brownie and uh, hot chocolate, and I just had hot chocolate. And we're going to leave shortly because we have more crap to do tonight. But boy, that is just gruesome. All right, guys, it's um, 10.30 now. I got all my work done tonight except for the vlog, so I'm going to work on that now. Um, about a week ago, I got a uh, question on the channel uh, speaking about channel comments. So someone sent me a PM on YouTube and I go to reply, it doesn't reply. The to field is like a whole bunch of, of crap. A couple other people have had that. Do you have it? If you want to talk to me, go find me in a comment on the video right now. For some reason, YouTube's PMs or DMs are not working. So anyways, the comment was about our trip in March that is about 30 days from now. They asked uh, for a couple details and stuff about it and it was in a PM and that email somehow got displaced and I forgot about it. Then somebody else, different user, came along and asked the same question. So I figured I'd kind of run through it real quick if anybody else is interested, uh, stay tuned. Um, this trip is for college visits. I was going to do 
UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles, SDSU, San Diego State University, and UCSD, University of California, San Diego. I got SDSU and UCSD. Those visits are all set up for Monday and Tuesday of the week we're going to be there. Um, the UCLA, I'm only going to be in Los Angeles from that Tuesday through that Friday. Um, so those dates, unfortunately, the one week we chose to go, uh, they're having their final exams that week at UCLA. So we won't be able to tour that one. I'll go find it and I'll look at it, but I won't be able to get a professional tour on campus. So these are the plans. Knowing the flip, you won't be able to read it, but I'll go through it. We leave on Friday, finding the date, Friday, March 16th. 2012, leaving Cleveland uh, Hopkins Airport at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's going to be a little rough considering we need to park a car up there in Cleveland. Um, I'm going with my dad. He's probably going to come here at about 4, which means he's going to have to be up at 3. So if we leave here at 4, we'll be up there to drop off the car at 4.40. We'll be at the airport by 5 and ready to go by 6. We fly to Houston, Texas. Arriving there at 817, it's a 737-500 for anybody who cares about planes. And then we fly from Houston to San Diego, California, leaving Houston at 1030, arriving in Sandingo at 1210. And that's a 737-800, so that's a pretty nice plane. You can see the travel time there is 9 hours and 15 minutes. Um, we paid $20 for these tickets, and that was in taxes. It's $20 even. My dad had all these frequent flyer miles with Continental. And Continental United are about the same now, so uh, we were able to redeem those miles for both of us to fly out there for $10 a piece, which is really cool. Uh, so that's good, but we didn't have the kind of options that you would if you were going to pay. So we probably could have gotten a direct flight to LA that would take a lot less time, but why pay literally 20 times as much to do that? Um, so we're in San Diego. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I have a college visit Tuesday at 11. I don't remember which one that is. Then we're going to drive up from San Diego to Los Angeles, probably just on Route 5 in the Pacific Coast Highway. Um, Tuesday afternoon, probably around 2 o'clock. Um, well, I should say that in San Diego, we're going to stay in the, in the same place where we did last year, the Coronado Island Marriott. And with all the points that my dad had at the Marriott, that cost us $100 for five nights or, or how many nights? Four nights. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four nights at an amazing hotel. It's a resort. They've got a great pool, beautiful views. So that's really cool. Right. So we drive up to Los Angeles. Uh, we'll be staying at the Hilton Los Angeles Universal City, um, which is in Hollywood. It's a couple miles from the coast. you got to take the Ventura Freeway over to the 405 South and then the 10 in Santa Monica. Um, I'm familiar. I've been there before. I've been to California probably five times, once last year, and a whole bunch in the early 2000s. Um, so we're going to be there for three nights, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We leave Friday morning at 10.08 a.m. Pacific time, Friday, March 23rd, flying to Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas on a small plane. It's going to be a Canada Regional Jet 700. We took a 200 from L.A. to Vegas last year. It wasn't bad. I wouldn't want to go much further than, well, getting to Dallas is going to be a little rough. Uh, then we're, we have four hours and 46 minutes in Dallas, so I'm hoping we can get out and go into the city, either Dallas or Fort Worth, and grab something to eat. And then we fly from DFW to Cleveland at 3.07 p.m. on a small plane, Embraer RJ145. That's what I took from Cleveland to um, Chicago last year, flying to L.A. last March. And, uh, yeah, we're renting a car from Fox in San Diego. We're going to drop it off in... Los Angeles. So I'm really looking forward to the trip. The two college visits should be awesome. Should be a good time with my dad. Um, two really great hotels. A lot of flying. I love to travel. I love to fly. So that's awesome. And uh, that's 30 days um, from today, I think, or 31 or 30 from today, which is great. Um, last year, I put it in the little, you know, the uh, countdown app on the iPhone. It was like 160 days and it felt like about 500 before we left. This year when I put it in, it was 140. It feels like three weeks ago. Time is flying. I'm not feeling like I, I have to get out of here. I'm not dead yet. So, so that's good. I remember coming down here and, and making these videos and talking and stuff. And I was about ready to go upstairs, start the car in the garage and lay down behind it and wait. <laughs> so uh, this year we're doing a lot better. I think it's because I have so much more to do. I, I'm always busy and stuff. So uh, I did talk about that today. Unfortunately, that's going to make this video huge and it will literally take all night to upload. And I have to bring my Mac to school tomorrow for graphics. We're working on that Photoshop and Illustrator projects. So that means tomorrow, I know I keep putting it off, I'm sorry, tomorrow we're going to go through the watches. Somebody wanted to see my watch collection and rings and, and uh, 
bracelets and stuff, and then the polos will do that tomorrow too. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That's it for today. I'm going to go up do some editing. Uh, those are the plans. Leave me any comments and stuff below. I think I did talk about it loosely when we set all this up in October, uh, but it's a very inexpensive way to have a very, very nice stay in great hotels in my favorite part of this country. So uh, tomorrow is Tuesday already. I have Friday off this week, so that's cool. And I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Good night.